Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Western Australian 4x4 Adventures. Um, today we are just going to be doing a few quick things, a shorter video. Um, we've got a new snorkel head, a ram head, to go on the top. Um, I don't like, I don't think anyone likes the look of the original ones. So um, we're going to see what's required to fit that one on. Um, then I'm just going to wire up these LED spotlights. Um, the LED, they all can run off of 24 volt. Um, and I'm going to run them into where the navigation lights used to exist off of the same wiring using the same factory, um, what do you call it, uh, breaker. And um, I'll rig the, the light switch up so that um, they come on when the high beams come on. So I'll do that from inside of the switch. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get All that right, done. As you can see under here, I've just taken the old navigation lights, which operate off the, um, when you turn the switch the other way. And I'm just going to rig it up at the switch so that these will come on with the high beams. And I'll use all the same wiring, and it just saves me a lot of drama doing it that way. Um, and I like how the LEDs light the road up. For my eyes, it works great. So I'm happy with the LEDs over the, uh, the, uh, the beam lights, the driving lights. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with the... This. The original uh, nighttime lights that were here, I'll run these two off of this setup and um, I'll run the two others off the, the outside night lights just so they're on a different circuit. Let's go ahead and get it done. Alright guys, I'm just going to strip back a little bit of this, this wire to get a clean solder. And the earth is the brown. I like to just put them about halfway and then flick them both round so that's a nice even blend. Length permitting. Same with the other one. Set them about halfway down each other and then wrap them around. So then you have uh, two fairly straight, neat joints. And uh, now we'll just add some solder. Had a nice clean bit in there. If you get the uh, you get the wire hot enough, you don't have to force the solder in. See, as soon as the copper gets to the right temp, it just absorbs. Let the extra now the other one. Put a 
bit of wind blowing, which doesn't help, but uh, Fortunately, my gas solderers have a habit of uh, dying on me. There you go. I'm gonna make do with an electric one for now. I'm going to use a little bit of electrical tape here. Usually I would use heat shrink, but we're working in such a tight distance here that I'm going to put heat shrink over this. So, as long as it's done correctly, electrical tape will do the same thing. As long as you've got the heat shrink over the top, and you don't have any spiky wires or anything pushing through the tape. So there's one. You don't have to go overkill with the tape. Like I said, I prefer to use a uh, heat shrink, but you try to do it this close, the heat shrink heats up being this close to the solder. And if you're neat with your stuff, it doesn't matter. So, two nice, neat joints. Here's some heat shrink I prefer prepare. <laughs> prepared earlier. We'll just wiggle this down. See a tight fit. That's it. Over the center. We don't have so much wind at the moment. Just clean it up with a little bit of tape over these joints. And I'm just running off their existing wiring, so I don't want to change it up too much. I'm just trying to keep it looking like what it was. If it was all my brand new wiring, I'd probably conduit all of this and, I mean, Not a hundred percent necessary being on the bull bar, but electrics is all about neatness, isn't it? So that's spliced into the existing nighttime light on the far edge of the bull bar, and uh, that's as good as it needs to be. Um, if you wanted to go extra protection, you could conduit all of this, but I'm not 100% sure with the bar set up if it's going to change or not. So um, for now, we'll leave it like this 
and uh, see how we go because I might have to rewire, I might have to, I'm not 100% so for now this is uh, perfect Let's see if these uh, headlights, I mean the spotlights that I've hooked up to the old nighttime driving lights uh, work off of the original switch. Right guys, so come inside and we'll Flick this little switch back, and then so we, if we switch to number one, we should just have the outside spotlights on. One, two. All right, and then if we. If we switch to no, that's blank, and then that should be both sets of spotlights. Booyah! All the LEDs running off of the original switch. So that works. Now I just got to change the switch over so that they come on uh, when your high beams are on. I'll have to have a look at the switch. I might have to keep the original light switch. I'm not sure if I want to go pulling that apart, but I should be able to rig it to how I need it. Alright, nice. And of course to get back... Whoops. And then of course to get back to standard lighting. You click it to there, you push it in, and then you click that little that little thing, but uh, toggle back, and then you can go into standard headlights. But I will jerry rig that the way I need it to be rigged. Some of this stuff I will keep, obviously the diff lock switch, these dials up here I'll keep. Let's see how it goes. Still waiting on the dynamat. Had other things come in the mail, but not the dynamat. Happy days. Now we're going to switch over this snorkel because this one looks like a bloody something out of the creep show or, or your worst nightmare. Yeah, not good looking. So uh, let's go ahead and get that done. There it is, guys. So we got the spotties hooked up. Which will help me seeing at night. And we got the new snorkel on. Definitely makes a difference from the side. It looks like a dog with one ear maybe, but it's gotta be better than that dome top. Yep, I'm happy with that. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully the dynamat arrives and uh, Got the wood for the dash, marine ply. Got all the paint and carpet we need. I haven't revealed the color of the carpet yet. That's but, a surprise. Uh, Make you guys hold out. But um, next week I'll also it'll be going in to get tint done. So um, I'll keep you updated. And uh, fingers crossed I can give you a big video tomorrow of all the dynamatting and carpeting. Just have to wait and see. Thanks for tuning in guys.